Mr. Speaker, and my question is for the Premier. My private member's bill, Bill 83, a day of remembrance and action on Islamophobia, passed second reading unanimously in April 2019. Many government MPPs, including the now Minister of Education and the government whip, spoke wholeheartedly in favour of that bill. But now the Premier is planning to give a notorious Islamophobe the right to grant university degrees and write and write Islamophobic curriculum that will warp the worldview of every student exposed to it. The massacres of Muslims in mosques in both Quebec City and Christchurch, New Zealand were influenced by Islamophobic mischaracterization of Islam and Muslims. Schedule 2 of Bill 213 amounts to an attack on Muslim communities across Ontario. Will the Premier delete it from the bill? Thank you. Minister of Colleges and Universities, respond. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. And you know, further to the Premier's comments yesterday, let me add this. There is absolutely no place for Islamophobia, or homophobia here, here. for that matter, in this province. But where there is an absolute place in this province, then there always will be in this country, is upholding the rule of law, upholding the Charter of Human Rights and Freedoms that require equality, that it require all forms of equality to be maintained under the principles of fundamental justice, procedural fairness. Mr. Speaker, I'm not sure what the members opposite don't understand. Mr. Speaker, through you, it seems to me either A, they just want to play politics, they want to mislead the public, yeah. or they I'm going to ask the minister to withdraw his unparliamentary comment. Um, I, I'm happy to withdraw, Mr. Speaker. But I must say, I, I really don't know what it is that they're after at the end of the day. They understand clearly that there Response. is equality. They must appreciate that fairness is important, Mr. Speaker. I trust they do actually appreciate it. Supplementary question. Thank you, Speaker. And no, it's not about procedural fairness. The bill actually seeks to subvert the usual arm's length process and procedural fairness. If the Premier cares about procedural fairness, he will remove Schedule 2 from the bill. Charles McVitie is also notoriously homophobic and transphobic. The baseless vitriol he has spewed towards queer people is likely to appear in the curriculum he will de develop for these university degrees he wants to give. Speaker, I am the proud mother of a gloriously wonderful trans daughter. I couldn't be prouder of her. I am also terrified of the consequences of transphobic attitudes and the pain and violence to which they sometimes lead. And I know that other parents, friends, and families of trans Ontarians feel the same way. This is Trans Awareness Week. On this week, Question. of all weeks, how can the Premier tell trans Ontarians, their families and loved ones, that he is legislating more transphobia into the province? Will the Premier delete Schedule Members will please take their seat. <laughs> Minister of Colleges and Universities to respond. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And there it was, right at the beginning of the, uh, of the I guess it was an answer. Uh, that, that was it. That's the critical point. The opposition, both the Liberals and the NDP, continually ask us to interfere with the rules. They continually ask us Order. to interfere with procedural fairness. They continually ask us to somehow restrict the rules. There is no basis to interfere with Order. the process, Mr. Speaker. The process is set for a reason because opposition it is come transparent. To order. I heard the leader uh, of the opposition say in her first question of the day, she commented on transparency. She talked about wh wh why, we, wh why we wouldn't want transparency. This is the most transparent thing that could exist. This is the most procedurally fair process that can exist, Mr. Speaker. This school applies order. directly to an independent to body order. with no ministerial involvement whatsoever, and we've put it in legislation so that it can be openly debated in a transparent and accountable way. There is no clearer way, Mr. Speaker.